What's going on, Murder Yoga Nation? It's your boy C Tech with another episode of the Grinding Jiu Jitsu podcast, episode 18. Um, this is a special one. This is only going to be for myself. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everybody who's came onto the pod, who's uh, given a, a chance and, and took a look at the videos and, and having and watching us have conversations about the thing that we love most, which is the Jiu Jitsu. Um, especially in the competition scene and just learning a little bit more about your favorite grapplers. Um, thank you so much to Pressure Pass Pressure Washing for helping us with the pod. Uh, thank you so much to um, uh, Ant versus Evil Design for helping the pod so much. I, I honestly, like, I don't even know how I would get through all of this without the help of those guys. And, you know, I wanted to go one by one and thank uh, all the people who have joined the pod, um, starting with my episode one, Jason Valle, Jason Valle, uh, Black Belt out of Orlando Fusion XL. Um, I appreciate Jason for being my first, my guinea pig, the, and, and he trusted me in, in getting on a pod when nobody knew who we were, um, you know, and thank you so much, Jason, for getting on the pod and bullshitting with me, and I'm glad that it went the way it went for the first podcast ever. I thought that it was an absolute bomber um, as, in a good way, in a good way. Um, episode two, Isaac Cordova, Dova Dog, you know, like back when I started doing jujitsu um, in, in Cali, when I got back into jujitsu, Isaac was one of the first ones to help me uh, start the process of losing the weight and learning how to use my body once more again in jiu-jitsu and um, watching him compete on the EBIs, the combat jiu-jitsus, the, the qualifiers, like the dude is an absolute savage. And he was, you know, always, you know, one of the little one, the little guys, 150, 165 and under, you know, and he always brought it. So Isaac, thank you so much. Uh, for coming on the pod once again when nobody knew who we were and hey 18 episodes later you know you're still one of the top ones on the on the pod and so is jason actually it's crazy it's crazy just looking at the numbers on how many people actually tuned in and watched it and, and shot a follow uh episode three matt ferriola uh you if you watch the pod you're i don't even have to keep mentioning his name because he's always uh mentioned in the pod especially with grapplers from the orlando area he's always came in the clutch one of my good friends i i appreciate his tutelage when me moving from um miami down to orlando or vice versa when i was in new york moving to orlando um, you know, he took care of me and, um, shout out to Adam bomb. I got to get Adam bomb. I'm here. Adam's the one who introduced me to Matt and that's all she wrote. So Matt, thank you so much for being my third episode. That one was an entertaining one. That one was an entertaining one. Mike John episode four. That one was a nice good one because Dova and Mike John were there when I was with the 10th planet orange folks, monster squad. Um, and absolute savage built like a tank you know and his jiu-jitsu is i'm just happy that his jiu-jitsu is being recognized all around and he's one of the best black belts out uh, for the 10th planet system he's so all he's overall you know all around such a good competitor along with dova and that's why they always train together they're so good together and you know um, I'm happy that and I appreciate once again you jumping on the pod and and that one was such a good pod in itself. We got we had a couple of uh, uh, quotations there that I'm going to be making videos. Um, I'm going to start making shorts on all my videos. So stay tuned, everyone. Uh, then comes the homie episode five casually sean sean ryan sean i appreciate you for coming on the pod as a podcaster himself and also an announcer for a jiu-jitsu events you know he's always entertaining he's always he's always on the calm side and just to have him on the pod just to shoot the shit and see where he goes when i was training at 10th planet orange 
he was one of my training partners every single day, just grinding it out. And he's awesome. And I appreciate it. And I hope everyone who listens to that pod just gets a grasp of just how cool Sean is. And I hope that his podcast comes back. Julian Moreno, Moreno, episode six, one of the OGs from Daniel Perez, uh, Damian Maya School down in Miami. Um, Julian is a, now a black belt under um, under um, Danny, Danny Perez. And um, like I said, when, when I asked the question, who did you call out or whatever, he is mine. And I'm just glad that he took it as a joke the way I take it as a joke. Uh, and I just thought that that was funny and forever. He will, he will be forever in my jujitsu journey. Um, and forever, I've never got my ass whipped so bad. Uh, and also with the Danny crew, um, Alex and uh, Emilio, everybody down there, Delia, they got everybody just looking at their journeys from when I left them to where they are now. I'm, they're so blessed down there. Really cool school. If you're in the Miami area, go check them out there in Kendall. Uh, oh. Do I really need to announce this one? Uh, Alan Sanchez. Um, Alan, one of the best 10th Planet Black Belts out, always game for a comp. Um, Super sick that uh, Mike John taught me on the pod, on the pretzel grip. And now my guillotines, I'm doing the pretzel grip. And Mike John learned the pretzel grip from Alan Sanchez. So it's cool that it was like a full circle. I interviewed Mike John two episodes later, Alan Sanchez, the guy who actually taught me that press over. So it was just really cool. Uh, great pod. Uh, hope to a speedy recovery. I know he was nursing an injury on the pod. I hope everything is good with you, sir. And um, hopefully that I can um, get you guys on the pod later on in the future. Uh, Keith Kukorian. What more can I say? Top, top five, top ten in grap, uh, flow grappling uh, uh, rankings. ADCC vet, um, always one of the best competitors out there. Always game for a good match. He's never boring. I'll tell you that he's never boring. Um, you know, thank you so much for coming on the pod once again. He's he's always been down. Anything that I ask, he always thinks about, and most likely he says yes. You know, <laughs> he be pre- yeah, he looks out for me. I thank you, Keith, for coming on the pod and you know giving me an opportunity to for the audience to get to really know you. Um, Emil Fisher, the metal brother, um, not for nothing. If it was, uh, the, the podcast was going super well, super well. And I feel like in 2023, uh, when I interviewed Emil, I, one, I was a fan of his jiu-jitsu because of his antics, you know, of what he does in on the mats before during or after, um, he's just, a it's, it's, it's an entertaining match with Emil Fisher on it and when Emil with the love the Emil's love for metal and my love for metal kind of made the pairing super good the pod went so well and then I got introduced to other metal musicians in jiu-jitsu which was like the icing on the cake for me so I think the pod took a big turn when it came to um when I interviewed Emil and it was an amazing, amazing pod, first of all. And second, it opened up my eyes to what I can really do with the podcast. Um, and there's only 18 episodes, so this is already almost done. This is almost done. Um, Zay, Zay Gomez, a uh, former band member of myself. We were in a band together. Actually, our first band was together trying to do metal. Uh, we were terrible. But uh, Zay started training jujitsu and now is competing as a white belt. And, you know, it took him long enough, but at least he found his way to the jujitsu mats. And now he's taking jujitsu super seriously, winning. He has not not placed in competition, which is the best thing uh, that you can hear from a friend who's getting into jujitsu. So Zay, appreciate you, brother, for coming on the pod. And I hope you're still sharing the link. Um, <laughs> all right, now comes uh, <laughs> Felix Hernandez, a.k.a. El Sapo. 
owner of Pressure Pass Pressure Washing, also one of the owners of Kojito Jiu-Jitsu that I train out of. Uh, Felix, thank you for being one of the best friends that I have in the Orlando area. Uh, you always um, prop me up. You always help me get the confidence I need to continue to doing you know, the pod stuff, helping me with equipment and stuff, helping me with even with my store. And now that I'm selling basketball cards now, too. So um, Felix has been there from the beginning um, and he's always been cool. And without him, this wouldn't even be possible, not to the best quality that you've been getting. Um, uh, not today, because today I'm, I just wanted a short, small, just me with you guys. So I didn't want to bring out the whole setup. <laughs> um, the, the next is episode 12, which was the first one where Chris Pulgarin is in a band called Currents. And it is one of my favorite bands for the last year and a half. And I got found out that he was doing jiu-jitsu through a meal, and he is a purple belt. I think he just got his brown belt, if I'm not mistaken. And just the fact that, one, he's in one of my bands that I listen to on a daily basis. He also does jiu-jitsu. And my son is also a fan of his band and got to sing their song on the pod, which was just it, that moment that a dad to give a gift to his son and you know, it's his favorite song and he got to see the person who helped create it by far. Just it was just a great moment. Thank you, Chris, for coming on the pod. I, I really appreciated the, the talk. Uh, the Zales twins, the Gonzalez twins, awesome dudes, you know, having twin. That was our my first podcast with more than one person on the pod and just having them. I, I got to learn like, oh, I, I can actually do multiple uh, uh, guests, which in the future we will be having on the Grinded Jiu-Jitsu podcast. And um, the Zales twins, you know, they're dogs on the competition scene, hard to find the matches. They probably did matches with anybody in their weight class. They don't, they're that good. They just are monsters. Um, Sean, um, you're going to be upset with me. Okay, Sean. You're going to be upset. Episode 14. Okay. I still can't pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. Arklai. Alkalai. Fuck. Anyway. Yeah, I can't pronounce your last name. I it, it's still till today. I, I I'm not even gonna try. But Sean recently promoted to black belt. Super proud of this guy. Um, overdue, and he has it now, and he's running with it. And I see good things coming from Sean. I appreciate he's one of the uh, if not one of the owners of Pressure Pass Pressure Washing also. So I appreciate. Um, you helping me in my jiu-jitsu journey and, you know, all the Kojito guys appreciate you for being who you are. And um, you are our general, other than Dylan. You are our general. You're the, one of the Kojito black belts leaders. Thank you. Thank you for, for doing what you do. Um, episode 15, Micah Cross, my training partner, my nemesis, my my restaurant, my non-restaurant, I'm his restaurant. Like, <laughs> uh, me and Micah have, from day one, have been training together. And um, we were always the biggest guys in the room. So it was only natural for the big guys to go with the big guys. And I appreciate him for making me better in my jiu-jitsu journey. And I hope that I helped him also in his jiu-jitsu journey. I will be tagging all of you guys on this pod. So please just, you know, listen to it, hear it out. Micah, you're the fucking man, bro. Um, episode 16, Dominic. Dickinson, a uh, guitarist of um, a band called Affiance in my day. It was Affiance, now guitarist of the band Knight Rider with the same members. Um, it was so cool to find out that he's been doing jiu-jitsu 
previously and I followed his journey, not only musical journey, I was already following, but then I found out he's doing jujitsu. So it just made like, oh shit, yeah, you know what? Let's 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 put let's get a pod together. And man, that pod went on for like an hour and change and it was just awesome talking about it and being and, and getting to know him outside of just music you know so that was a good one thank you so much dom and much success to the band and also christian for currents shout out to christian for currents um that was episode 16 so we're we're coming down to the last two episodes um episode 17 Dane Randall from uh, the band Heavy Hitter, Florida hardcore band. Dane was the first one that was funny. I was actually following his band on Instagram before I even knew who he was. And then my friend just mentioned, I believe he does jujitsu also. I reached out right away threw it out there and he was a hundred percent down and that conversation came out so good it was just an absolute pleasure to just talk the shit of jujitsu with a fellow musician just like dom and christian this was another highlight for me just another band member another member of the musical industry that i was trying to get into for so long i appreciate you dane and last episode was Jay Enoch. Uh, just recently, I just put it out there a few days ago. Such a good conversation. Uh, just a, a really cool dude. Um, man, if you listen to the pod, like we actually have so many cool moments in the pod, just talking about it, being about it, and just really going through just our jujitsu journeys and there i think on his podcast a lot of people learned a lot of a lot of me but everybody also learned a lot from jay enoch one of the black belt competitors um out there which was super cool and then this one is technically 18. I, jay is supposed to be nine uh 18 and then i was supposed to be 19 but i got my numbers wrong so he's 19 i'm releasing this as number 18 and uh 2023 has been an absolute blessing i thank you everyone who joined us on the pod thank you so much for everyone who's been hitting me up to get on the pod uh, i am starting to make the schedule for uh the january coming up i have a cool collab coming out with another fellow podcaster i believe from cali i think they're in cali but they're on the west coast i believe they're on the west coast and um, that's going to be a really cool one. We just got to, you know, touch base and really work things out so it can come out really good. Um, I have other good ones that I'm planning to go. I have a multi world champion about to get on soon. Um, just we're just trying to work out the schedule to make it work, especially now with my new basketball card business. So I appreciate it. Um, you know, appreciate the the patience when it comes to the episodes, but we are gonna start coming back out and start gonna really pull forward on our jujitsu journey together. And you know, the Grinding Jujitsu podcast would not be able to be created without all of you watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. You know, thank you so much. Listen, I know we're still little now, but if we continue on this path, we should be this can actually make it somewhere where man like this could be something huge and i would love for you guys to be a part of this journey and we can ride this out together into the sunset that's the only wish i have and um yeah so for 2023 is coming to an end tonight i appreciate everybody uh, tuning in and once again keep grinding jujitsu thank you so much i love you all awesome.